When 13 disparate British colonies united to form a new country, they followed a model that already existed, it was provided for them by the United States of Haudenosaunee. That's the land that the British and French invaders had been fighting over for 150 years until one rainy night in 1754, when a 22-year-old British soldier ambushed a French diplomatic party, killing them mercilessly and kicking off a world war. That kid's name was George Washington. Meanwhile, back in London, the Board of Trade was very concerned. I mean, they needed the Haudenosaunee as an ally. So they directed their colonies to sign a treaty with the Haudenosaunee. Pennsylvania sent Ben Franklin, and Franklin's printing press had been quoting their chief Conestatiga's words on unity for years. Franklin and Washington were both deeply familiar with their revolutionary system of government. Haudenosaunee means people of the longhouse, referring to the five nations and then six that had once been at war, but had miraculously unified a thousand years prior. That's when a messenger called the Great Peacemaker demonstrated how easy it was to break one arrow, then bundled five arrows together and showed how in unity they could not be broken. The Peacemaker had partnered with Hiawatha and Chik Un Sesa, the mother of nations, to establish a democratic council of clan and village chiefs from all their nations. Power was shared between sexes, decisions were made by consensus, and they symbolized this new democratic alliance by uprooting an old pine. And all the formerly warring leaders, they threw their weapons of hatred and jealousy and anger and war into the chasm left by the old tree, and a mighty stream washed it away. They replanted a new tree of peace, placing an eagle on top, symbolizing the intention to keep a watchful eye toward any disturbances to their peace. Now, many scholars have enumerated the ways in which Benjamin Franklin's Albany plan the basis for the Articles of Confederation and Perpetual Union were similar to the Haudenosaunee Constitution. And on July 4th, 1776, after declaring independence, Congress directed Franklin and others to oversee the creation of a seal for the newly United States. And in October of 1988, the 100th U.S. Congress recognized the Haudenosaunee Confederacy as follows, quote, whereas the original framers of the Constitution including most notably George Washington and Ben Franklin, are known to have greatly admired the concepts of the six nations of the Iroquois, whereas the confederation of the original 13 colonies into one republic was influenced by the political system developed by the Iroquois Confederacy, as were many of the democratic principles which were incorporated into the Constitution itself. 